George in Houston writes, I have been conscious of the hype around new DACs and have been concerned about the age of my no longer supported DAC, so I decided to take the plunge and purchase a new one. After reviewing many options, I decided on an R2R letter, uh, ladder DAC in the region of $4,000 in the belief that it would provide an equally wonderful experience and that it would replace my aging DAC so that I have been uh, used to uh, that I've been using to work around to stream live music and boy, and no longer having supported streaming software. Okay, sorry, that's a little discombobulated there. After having my new DAC for a few months, I had hoped I would adjust and grow to feel to like it. And although it's pretty good, I am underwhelmed. Now the question. After your ref recent reference to the importance of the analog output stage in DACs, how important is the actual chip configuration versus its analog output stage. Should we have a much greater consideration on the DAX analog output stage or the way it works? Okay, I think I understand this question. So he wanted to upgrade his DAC, and so there's a lot of excitement and, and hype going along with R2R DACs, right? And that they all sound so much better and and, and it's better than a chip DAC and all of this stuff. And, and you know, there's certainly validity to any of that. And, and we're talking about differences here that are audible and those are important. And an R2R DAC means simply that's the old style that we used to use. And we can never really get more than 16, 18 bits out of that. And basically what it is, R2R, resistor, times two resistor, okay, R2R. R. And what it means is when, when you have, let's just take a 16-bit DAC, there are actually 16 resistors, 16 current sources that make up this DAC. And they're, it's, it's, it's in a ladder, if you will. And each of these resistors is two times the value of the resistor below it. So let's just say we start with 100 ohms the next one's 200 ohms, the next one's 400 ohms, the next one's 800, and on, right? The accuracy of those resistors is absolutely critical. You need like 0.001% accuracy and so that the, the, the bits don't vary when you do it. And so these turn on up to 16 bits or down, and we make this waveform, right? Depending on how many there are. Now, if you want a 20-bit or a 24-bit, then <clears throat> if you're going to do an R2R, you have to have 24 precision resistors, each one two times more than the other, which is actually sort of impossible. So they have all kinds of tricks <clears throat> and ways of doing it now today, and they're called R2R DACs, and they're kind of cool. They're, they're very cool stuff. How important is that relative to the output stage? Well, that's a really good question because we are very immersed in DACs. Like our DACs run on DSD. If you look at our direct stream DAC, it's a DSD DAC. Now there, we don't have R2R. It, it's a completely different scheme. It's a one bit scheme and it works in a completely different way and it sounds very different, but when we get down to it. The most important aspect sonically has always been the output stage because you can take an R2R DAC front end and put different output stages on it and they'll all sound different. You can take the same output stage and put different configurations of inputs and they'll all sound different too, but not quite to the magnitude that this changing the output stage has. So from a magnitude standpoint, the output stage changes are much greater than the way that you are processing the data. That said, it's really hard to make a blanket statement like that because our direct stream-ish the, the technology we use for DSD, we convert DSD directly to analog. That has, that and the output stage are huge. They just, 
it's just a, it's, it's the whole thing is really important. But if you have to break it down, that's the way to look at it. So that's what I would think I would be focusing on. And at the end of the day, which one sounds the best to you? So, all right, thanks for the question. Sorry for the roundabout convoluted answer there. <laughs> what, from me? All right, take it easy. Thank you.